Hi, Phil Plate from BadAstronomy.com here. I was on Twitter today and I saw that Carolyn Porco, who's the leader for the imaging team on the Cassini spacecraft, had announced that Cassini had new pictures of Saturn and its moon Enceladus. Now Enceladus is this really cool moon, it has geysers blowing off the South Pole, it's very icy and it's, it's just really photogenic, it's totally cool. So I jumped onto the Raw Images website, went into the archives and found the images of Enceladus. And to my surprise, I noticed that there was a sequence of images showing not just Enceladus, but the gigantic moon Titan in the same picture as they moved past each other. This is totally cool. So I grabbed all 18 images, turned them into an animation. Take a look at it here. Wasn't that awesome? Now, if you watch it again, you can actually see Titan has an atmosphere. It's very thick, and so the edges look fuzzy, and you can see a little bit of detail in it as well. Titan is huge. It's bigger than the planet Mercury. Enceladus is much smaller, and, and just looking at them, you can see they're very different. It's not just the size. Enceladus is very icy, and that makes it very reflective, very shiny. Titan has a thick atmosphere that has a lot of nitrogen in it that makes it very dark and gray. And you can just glance at these two guys and see that they're very different. Now, as far as the animation goes, what you were seeing was because Titan, Enceladus, and Cassini were all in motion. Enceladus, represented by a dime, and Titan, represented by a tennis ball. Not exactly a scale, but pretty close. You can see that the dime, Enceladus, was closer to Cassini, in this case the camera, you guys. Titan was behind it. Now watch what happens if I just move them. I'll keep them parallel to each other, but I'll just move them across the field of view. And you can see that it looks like Enceladus is moving across Titan, or if you focus on Enceladus, Titan is moving behind Enceladus. So I'll just keep them like that again, and I'll just move them across like that. Isn't that neat? It's not just that you're seeing one thing pass in front of another. You're actually seeing three objects in motion. And when you focus on one of them, you get an interesting angle on how these things all move. And remember, you're seeing this from the viewpoint of a robot probe that is orbiting Saturn, which is like a billion kilometers away. It's amazing that we can see these kinds of things and that I can just go onto a website, grab the images, and turn them into an animation like that.